Only three months since Archie arrived, it seems Prince Harry is already thinking about a bigger family. And not just what it would mean for them, but the impact it could have on the planet. In a conversation with environmentalist Dr Jane Goodall in Vogue magazine, they talk about their fears for the natural world and Harry's desire to have more children. When Dr Jane says not too many, Harry replies, too maximum, but I've always thought this place is borrowed. We need to be focusing on exactly what we can do immediately now, and that's changing how we live, not how many of us there are. Blythe Pepino has decided not to have children. She set up the group Birth Strike to bring together those who've made the same decision for the sake of the environment. I made the decision to not have biological children so I could put my time and energy into activism. And then I found out that lots of other people are struggling with this decision as well. And that seemed like a powerful way to raise consciousness about what's happening. Because if there isn't a future, then people aren't going to feel safe to have children. So how much does having a child impact the environment? Well, just one child is equal to about 60 tonnes of CO2 equivalent a year. To put that in context, driving a car generates 2.4 tonnes a year and a transatlantic flight generates 1.6 tonnes of CO2 equivalents. From the Queen to the Cambridges, the royals aren't known for having small families. And this year, their carbon emissions have also gone up, mainly from flying around the world on behalf of the government, leading some to suggest that Harry is preaching too much. Considering he travels all over the world, he's constantly flying to Africa and places like that, you know, espousing, you know, environmentalism, then, which is a bit hypocrit it is a bit hypocritical. We've decided to stop it too, and I think it does sort of factor in the back of my mind that, you know, we're replacing ourselves and we're not adding to the existing sort of population so, crisis. As long as you can look after them, you can take care of them, you're working, yeah, I think you should do what you want to do. This is the first time the prospect of another royal baby has caused a debate around climate change, a subject that will always be close to Prince Harry's heart. Rhiannon Mills, Sky News.